How is it going, guys? How is it going? Sir Bacon Bits here. Welcome back to another EPL episode. Triple header uh, live stream right now against MLB PP 2008. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, if I'm looking off to the side, just be warned. I'm doing a couple things just getting set up. I kind of had to hustle a little bit. I forgot to share the link. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's bad. Hold on. Nope. Nobody's probably watching. Yeah, there we go. Got that shared. Uh, and I just wanted to make sure I'm also up to date with who I've got to sit uh, for these games. I'm uh, pulling it up, pulling it up, pulling it up. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. We've got another one on our hands. This is going to be a good time. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the league standings. So, things have changed a little bit. I'm playing at the back end of the week with this. So, most of the other teams have already played their games for this week. Uh, so, quick glance at the standings. We've got, on our side, we actually had a tie for the first time. They went a full 15 and tied it uh, between Greg the Egg and Zumikaku, two of probably the purported front runners for this group. Uh, we also have, uh, I'm sitting at three and six. We actually have won three of our last four games, which is awesome. Uh, I'm just making sure I don't have my lock on on the side. Okay, uh, so yeah, we've won three of our last four. We're sitting at three and six. We're still bottom of our league, but we are coming up fast. Um, we're up against MLB PP 2008 and the Red Deer Rednecks. They are also 3-6. and six. So, should make for a fun time. Uh, the standings order hasn't necessarily been updated. So, for example, uh, Purple Hurricanes still sitting below the Red Deer Rednecks for the moment. Uh, we've had some other good games this week. I actually watched uh, Dishnet play against Obsessed in their three-game series. Dish took two out of three games on that. It was a fun time. Uh, yeah, that was a fun one. We are not the worst team in the league anymore. Uh, Clutch and the Chicago Curve, Clutch 1908, uh, they have fallen now to 2-10. and 10. Um, So the hope is we can get some wins today, maybe even pull out of last place in the Global League with two, if we can pull two wins. So let's give that a go. Game recordings, setting, here we go. And I'm going to come in here. And there he is, ready to rock. Let's go ahead and enter the lobby. There we go, and we're gonna use our crew. And let me just double check our pitchers we're not allowed to use for this game. So, Aoba, two games rest, he started last game. Ikari, Alex, and Kino all need one game rest uh, from game two of my series against Obsessed. He played very strong against me and blew through my pitchers. So this is going to be an interesting one for sure. All right. Uh, Onishi, though, being our starting option here in a phenomenal mood makes me very happy. Uh, our other eligible pitchers are Papillon, Hakuto, and Inuki. Inuki's probably my next option based on mood. Uh, Ueno for Papillon. I know Papillon's not in a great mood, but you still play him. Uh, let's put Toto in at third, and I want to get Arakata out for... Go for Alex, and we'll shift the order a little bit. Agane, Hoshizora, they're in a good mood. I think this is what we're going with. Um, actually, no, let's put Rokaku at the DH. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Game on, man, game on. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited. I am excited, I am nervous, all of the things. I'm gonna go ahead and switch views and we'll get this thing rolling. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good time. Lots of nerves. And we got one of the Yaku men at the mound. 
This will be fun. Okay, so there's our lineup for today. You guys have already seen it. They're facing Yakuman 1 Go. Uh, I know Yakuman 1 Go has a special. So be ready for it. Okay, but those Red Deer uniforms are pretty slick. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Alright, Tenoji. Let's kick things off with a bang. We gotta watch out for the breakers. That's gonna be the big thing this game. And immediately grounded out to Bando at first. Wonderful start. It's gonna be pink now. Ooh, big rope. Right center. That's gotta be two, right? No, no, no. Center fielder's there. Okay, good start though. Can we maybe hit it? Oh, that sinker! That's gonna be fun. It's a delayed break. All right, we gotta go for contact. We gotta go for contact. Good eye. Oh, the nerves are here. Papillon drops it into left. That's gonna be a symbol. We got two on and one out, and it's gonna be Kyushu. Let's just get hits. Uh, but not like that. <laughs> not like that. All right, Okino's turn. And I'm, sw I'm swinging at so many first pitches. I don't know why. I do this every week. I, I don't know why I do this. DH leadoff. That'll be an interesting lineup to face right there. And we got Harrison Onishi on the bump. And it's Yutaro Hino to lead off against us. Great stats. Holy cow. But I do remember why I didn't draft Hino. And that is because uh, they have absolutely no fielding ability whatsoever. And would be a like a liability defensively. So with that being the case, we kind of skipped on them because they would have been a DH only option, and I've got other people that can fill that role. I've got pitchers that can fill that can fill that role. So I figure save save a draft slot, go for somebody who's going to be more overall usable. Strike two. Can we finish him? Onishi gets a strikeout. Gets a strikeout. Let's go. All right, heading to the bottom of the inning. Yokaku up to start it. You gotta watch for that sinker because it's gonna be dangerous. Oh boy. Trying to hit me with the sinker, but you're not getting it. And then I got under it. That's great. And then his fielders couldn't decide who he wanted to control. Alright, Mahiro Toto. Mahiru? I don't know. I, I wasn't looking close enough. All right. Ooh, good placement. Good placement. You're going to be playing the bottom of the zone this whole time, I have a feeling. Except for, you know, trying to bait me with some high fastballs. Yeah, let that go. 2-1. we got to use an, uh, a more discerning eye nowadays. 2-2. Two, two. That's a good pitch. Defend the plate. Foul it off. That's fine. I'm fine with fouling it off. It was it was a ball anyways, but better safe than sorry. And we smack it up the middle. That's going to be an easy single for Toto. Very nice. Very nice. Ogane now. Feeling himself today. He's feeling in a good mood. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. That's going to land in center. No. No. Wow. I thought that was... I could have sworn that was going to land. Holy cow. All right, Hoshi Zora, one of our stars of the last series, got us a walk-off uh, win on a double. Um, yeah, he's been playing really well for us, so hopefully he can maintain that. And he rips one. That's going down the left field line. That's got to be two. Oh, and a fielding error. Heading to the wall, and we're going home with it. That is a run, and we start off strong. Oh, boy. All right, we got a lead. Tanoji bouncer to short. He's not going to make that, and that's going to be three. But we got a run across early. That's nice. That's something we don't do too often. All right, and it's going to be Kusano. Popped straight up to Kyushu, who is there, and that's one gone. Shinonome. This is this is a strong hitting team. I'm noticing there's some really good contact on this team. And then you had the guy who was up last who's like F contact S power. 
See if we can bait him high again. Yes! 2Ks for Onishi so far. Solid, solid beginning for him. This has been this has been a great start for us. I'm feeling I'm feeling oh. Not feeling that. Thank you, Onishi. That was very kind of you to go and screw up your second inning perfect game bid. Loop it in. Or not. We'll take that. Got him swinging strike three. That's three Ks for Onishi so far. This is going to be one of our better pitching games so far. And I proceeded to swing at a very bad pitch with Papillon. Or not with Papillon, with Pink. Let's see if we can get something with Papillon, though. I kind of want to try and hit for some power, because I've not really hit for power much so far this season. And that is a big rip down the left field line, but foul, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Why not? That's why not. Okay, Kyushu's turn. Let's see what we can do here. Now that's a big rip to center. That's going. And that's going to be a double off the wall. High part of the wall. That was almost our first homer of the season. Ooh, snap. That would have been absolutely lovely. Instead, we get an Okino pop up to short. And that'll end the inning. Ah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right. It's going to be Todoroki. That's an interesting choice here. G contact B power in left field. Must be a heck of a fielder outside of that run speed. I don't know why the heck you play Todoroki otherwise. Put that fastball in. Drop it off. Now we go with that high one. And got him swinging. That is 4Ks on the game for Onishi. Smooth grounder to third, and that's two gone. This game's been smooth so far. I don't want to jinx it, though, because it could change at any moment. Like, anybody in this league, we, this is the top division. Anybody in this league could turn on at a moment's notice. So I'm scared of that. But so far, so good. Uh, as we lead off with Rokaku here in the whatever inning this is. Fourth? Fourth, yeah. Toto's turn. And Yakuman really pushing that sinker now, trying to get me going with it. I'm going to wait out some more two-strike counts, I think, at this point. I want to try and burn through Yakuman uh, stamina-wise, because there's it's e-stamina. Like, the fact that Yakuman's gotten to the fourth inning is saying that I've not been taking enough pitches. 3-1, I'm not biting on this. I'm going to try and... Okay, 3-2, now we got to defend the plate. And Toto rips it in the second, or in the third short gap, and that's going to be another single. Two for Toto today. And now Ogane, who's also doing decent so far. Let's see what we can go with here. It's going to be 1 2. Now we got to defend our plate. Not that, though. Not that. Nogane has that high hit ability and it comes in effective here. It's going to be another single and we got two on for Hoshizora who drove in our one run of this game. He's been a nine slot clutch hitter. And that's going to be up the middle. It's going to be one, two, and that's going to be the inning. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Onishi's turn now to force another ground out. Bando, bring it on. Strike one. Ooh, man. Just been good so far. Strike two. Can we K him up on three pitches? Ooh, good eye, good eye. Strike three looking. He thought I was gonna bait him with a high fastball. I gave him a high fastball, just not right there. <laughs> Strike one. 
Strike two, catching the edge. Let's see if I can throw him off a little bit, throw a fork. He's not ready for it. Strike three. Onishi putting in a gem today. That's going to be Tenoji at the plate now. We're going to try for a little power. But that's going to go to third. That's going to be an out. Pink trying again here. Let's see what we can do. If we let that sinker go. That's going to be a 1 0 count. 1 1. Pink, just one of those nice rounded players that you want on your team. If you can get him. He just he plays nice. Definitely don't swing at that in a 1 2. It's going to be 2 2 count. Watch for a sinker. I got the sinker, but it's a little higher than I expected. That's going to be two gone for Papillon. Can we rope one here? I'd love, to, I'd love to get our first homer of the season today. It's going to be strike one. Strike two, I pulled away from it. Oh, okay, let's just get a hit. Bouncer fouled on the third baseline. We take those. And fouled that off. I jolted a little bit, unfortunately. Watch for that sinker. And that is going up the middle. Shina Nome is there, and that's going to be three. We head to the bottom five now. Still sitting on a no-hitter for Onishi, who has been just doing a great job this game. Proceeds to, as soon as I mention it, blow that. All right, so we got a runner on first and a fast one at that. We gotta keep a close eye on Shinonome. And there's the steal attempt and the gun out from Kyushu. Well done, Big Daddy. Strike two. Can we send him low with that fork ball again? Got him, strike three. Onishi just mowing him down today. I don't know what it is, but he has just been on his game. Now I'm gonna try and hit him with a multi-fastball combo here because I don't think he's ready for it and just bait him ever higher that one went a little too high I'm just gonna throw him fastballs Let's gun it by him that's gonna be a pop-up to short and that should end the inning and it does we head now to the sixth still with a one nothing lead thanks to the phenomenal work of Onishi and the heroics again of Hoshizora as Kyoshu leads off with a strong single to left and it's going to be Okino and we're going for some power here. We need to send one. And instead we're going to get an 0-2 count. Off the end of the bat and that's going to be over third. That's going to be another single and we got two on and no outs. And it's going to come down to Rokaku as Yakuman starts wearing out. I'm wondering what his pitcher limits are. The fact that Yaki Man's gone this long. Kind of surprised by it. Rokaku with a bouncer. There's no way they're pulling two on that, though. That advances both runners. And we got one gone. And runners on second and third. And it's going to be Toto, who has two singles so far this game. As the Rednecks call time. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's going to be Shirayama, who's got a lot more speed that vertical slider in there, but it doesn't matter. We take the first pitch to center, and that's going to be a 2-0 lead for the no-sox. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ogane's turn. And he's going to take that to center, and that's going to be another run for the no-sox. Hold on, I'm going to adjust Mike slightly on position. There we go. Hoshizora now pops it straight up. I got angsty. I was too excited. All right, two gone. Back to Tenoji. We got some power behind us. Let's see if we can make something happen with it. Strike two, that vertical slider dips more than you think. The curveball though, doesn't really move. Vertical slider dropped in. Tenoji grounds it to short. That's gonna be the inning, but it doesn't matter. We've done our damage. We're up to three runs on 11 hits, and it's going to be Todoroki at the plate. 
as we get a foul off into the bottom of the sixth. Onishi just putting in the work today. Gotta throw this just enough inside that it won't really get in the zone. Oh, Pink took so long to launch. I was trying to get the jump catch and Pink took forever to launch. It's gonna be Soramachi now. A quicker runner here. And it looks like Todoroki's probably getting pulled for a pinch runner right now as we speak. Trying to get somebody quicker on no. Oh, he's gone to Yabemon. Yabemon, phenomenal hitter, cannot field worth a lick. But it doesn't matter, that's gonna be one gone. Yeah, Yabemon's one of those I I have played with him in the past because I thought, oh, you know, he's super powerful. Let me grab him. And then it turns out he has, like, G-error resistance and drops every other ball that comes his way. It's just, it's not sustainable. It's that same situation as the other player he drafted that hits leadoff. It's just not going to do any good. But, anyways, we finish the sixth. Still a 3 nothing lead. We have sustained Onishi, only given up two hits so far. And it's going to be Shiroyama back on the mound. And I think Yabemon got left in the field. That could prove dangerous, especially putting him in center like they did. If I send something to center, he's very prone to drop it. But that is not going to center. It's going right back to the mound for two gone. And now it's Kiyushu's turn. Uh, two for three so far, a single and a double. Looking really good. That double earlier, coming high off the wall. Has a lot of home run potential if we can latch on to something. And that is what we want to do. Special fastball, that little bit of tail to get in there. It's going to be that vertical slider we contend with, though. It's going to be a lot of... Oh, shoot. I really did not expect the curve. Okay. That's why it's there. All right. We hit bottom seven, 3-0. Onishi facing off against Bando yet again. Can we keep it locked down? It's going to be shot to left. Ogane is there, and that's one gone. And now it's going to be Kusano up again. And he pops it up to center. Tanoji is there. And that's going to be two. And now it comes to Shinonome, who is one for two so far. And Pink is there. That finishes the inning. We are through seven. Three nothing lead. Onishi going strong. I'm hoping he can go full game shutout here. That would make things so much easier, and it would unlock, like, almost every pitcher on the team for next game. Oh, that would be lovely. wonder what he's got up his sleeve right now, though. Maybe he's recognizing that Yabemon should not be in center field. Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. And I apologize if anybody's in chat and I'm not responding. Uh, my chat pop-up for OBS shut itself down, uh, or I shut it down earlier because I didn't realize what I was doing. Uh, it's going to be Arima. Very slow pitcher, a lot of movement on the pitches though, and kind of a pain to face sometimes. Okino smacks it to right. That's going to be down. That's going to be extra bases for Okino. A strong double to right field. Way to pull out of a bad count. It's going to be Rokaku's turn now. And let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to say he's probably looking at his pitch counts for part, as part of a contributor to that move. But that's going to be one gone and a runner on third. A sack fly would pull him in. Toto, three for three today. Make that four for four. Another RBI. And there's that Yabemon little blunder in center. But it's going to be four nothing now, top eight. And Ogane... Can we chink it down into right field? We do. Oh, and an error. We got to run with it. Can we send home? We're going home with it. And that's going to be five. Five nothing. Holy cow. Hoshizora's turn. Give me ball one. I'm curious to see his other starters, though. I'm sure they're going to be formidable. As Hoshizora sticks it in the corner, that's going to be a two bagger. 6 nothing now. And the No Sox just kind of pulling away with it here over the Rednecks. Tenoji pops it up. Oh, that's disappointing. 
And that's going to be two gone. And it's going to be pink at the plate. One for four so far this game. And Sheena Nome, strong play. We go now to the bottom of the eighth. One more run, I could have been looking at a mercy rule late game. Oh, Onishi. You can't have mistake pitches like that, buddy. Big looping curve, and it's going to be Papillon, one gone. This has gone swimmingly. Except for stuff like that. No, but Onishi, we've had uh, two hits and a hit batter. And that has been it on their front for base runners so far this game. It has been doing wonders for us. Onishi, with, I'd say this is probably going to be his best game of the season. Unless something wild happens. And that's going to be foul just barely. Trying to just pelt with fastballs, and then we're going to throw it off with the fork. And that's a foul ball. And I apologize if you guys hear the, the barking in the background. <laughs> All right, it's going to be 2-2 two -two count now. Onishi slings it in. Foul ball. Let's hit the high fastball. And ready for that. They were ready for that. That's going to be a single to left. And Onishi giving up only his third hit of the game. As Yabemon skies it to right. That's going to land. And going for home. Papillon with the gun. Kyushu there. And that's going to end the inning. Papillon with the clutch play. Despite a strong, strong hit from Yabemon. That's going to be Papillon now to lead off the top of the ninth as we're going to try for some power with our 3-4-5 uh, hitters this time. I want to see if we can send something. Since we've got a comfortable lead, I want to try and, you know, work on this, because that's something I'm not great at doing with no lock-on is power hitting. So we're going we're gonna to try it. We're going to try it. Up the middle from Kyushu. Isekai is there, and that's going to be two gone, and it's going to be Okino, two for four so far this game. He's going to pop it straight back. It's foul. Circle change just misses. And Okino grounds it to the left. Shinonome is there. That's going to end it. We're going to let Onishi finish this thing as we face the 1 2 3 hitters. He has been lights out all game. A lot, a lot of strikeouts. It has been fun to watch. It's been fun to be part of. As Isekai lets the first one go for a ball. And that's going to be a chinker to second, and that's two gone. And it's going to be Bando, who has struck out, I believe twice. Papillon is there again, all three plays to him, and that is the game. 6 nothing takedown of the Rednecks. As we finish game one of our series and improve to four and six, we're only a half game back of Zumikaku now in the Global League, which is awesome. That is phenomenal. Uh, I'm getting my phone out. I gotta get the pictures for this first game. But so far, it's been good. Uh, yeah, Penguin, big inning. HF, yeah. <laughs> That's just the dog in me. Yeah, no, we getting at it. The dogs start barking, we start going nuts. All right, let me get our images here. Onishi, complete game shutout. Just put in the work today. And nobody else hit, so that's all we need there. And then Onishi, seven strikeouts on a complete game shutout, 67 pitches. Phenomenal work. All right, let me go get that game report submitted. Uh, oh, he's asking me to get his reports as well. So let me do that. Gotta get his stuff. 
Yeah, you can see Shirayama, he pulled for pitch count. Clicky computers are fun, guys. They're my clicky keyboard. I love it. All right, let's get these reports submitted real fast. Doop, doop, do. go start up the lobby for game two now and make sure we get our settings right 15 innings with tiebreaker rules seven run called game dh no spotlight no skip Gonna throw a password on so don't you guys go sniping it played one inning of warm-up before this just as like getting myself ready and I ended up quitting which was my first DNF that I've had in uh, in the tournament mode so my power rank dropped a bit but I, I was hitting well I did not expect to be so I'll take that I'll take that all day long so now we just wait uh, yeah we're feeling good now we are feeling good hopefully we can carry this maybe sweep the series and that would put us, check standings, that would put us tied for third. But since we took Obsessed down on two out of three games, I think that would put us on tiebreaker at third in the Global League. And overall would make us fourth, which is awesome. Would be very, very nice to be able to stay up at those numbers, at least mid-league, just I'd love to be able to make a playoff push, but with a slow start like that, I don't know if it'll happen. Um, and on the Global League side, and I'll show you guys this real fast, is we've got Greg the Egg is killing. Bren has been playing strong as expected. And if I remember correctly, I think it's only top two teams from each league go to the playoffs. So that would be, right now, Greg and Bren. And with the start I had, it's going to be very hard to catch either one of them. Getting me to 6-6 six and six is definitely something that would improve that, for sure. I don't think I have edit privileges to that sheet. No, I don't. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm... I want to push for it, for certain. Here we go. All right, MLB PP 2008, you're back in, Red Deer Rednecks. Let's get it. Game two of our three game trot. The only pitchers we cannot use now are Onishi and Aoba. So we're probably gonna go ahead and go Ikari here for game two. Uh, Hakuto, probably a top option at DH. Mizudori in a great mood. Hoshizora, not so much, but you've been playing so well, I hate to fool you. Uh, let's put you in for Arakata. Uh, Yumashiro again in a bad mood, but Toto covered phenomenally last game. So we're gonna go with it. Ueno's in a good mood, but you're gonna sit for Papillon still, though you may come in late game. Rokaku also in a great mood. Oh, man. Mizudori's got some good abilities. 
Let's do it. Why not? Uh, Hoshizora for Rokaku. Gotta push Rokaku there. And Misadori can take the 9 slot. Alright, there we go. This will be good. This will be good. Game 2, ready to rock. We got Ikari rocking for us on the mound. This will be fun. The Red Deer Rednecks up against us. Ikari ready to roll. And we've mixed up the lineup a lot more than I expected so far. That's going to be Hino to start it. Go ahead and hit him with some fire. And then let's throw in that slider at him. It's going to be popped straight up. And Ikari is there. We got one gone. Isakai up again in the two slot. Nothing there for Toto. The black jersey looks pretty slick, I'm not going to lie. Got him with the curveball. Let's get him with the inside fastball. Try to see if I can get him to bite at it. High fastball. And that's going to be a hit. He's starting to pick up on my tendencies, so I'm going to have to try and mix up my looks a little bit. Ball. The rising fastball will help to mix it up a little, though. Got him swinging, strike three. And it's on to Shinonome with two gone. It's that slider's hit to right. Mizudori there. And that's going to be the inning. And we hit into the bottom. Shindo on the mound. Ooh, he's one of the better ones. Tanoji immediately ropes it to left, though, and that's going to be a leadoff single for Tanoji. And it's going to be Pink's turn now. I'm, I'm considering a steal attempt here. Easy in for Tanoji. We've got a runner in scoring position. And that's going to fall in the gap based on him playing some shift. And we have runners on the corners with no outs. Let's see if we can launch something with Papillon here. If I can, this could be a huge start. Instead, it's going to be 3 0. We're not swinging on 3 0. Maybe I should have swung on 3 0. And that's going to be full up now. And we've got a walk. Bases loaded, bases are juiced, no outs. And it's going to be Kyushu at the plate. If we don't score, we have every right to be very upset. 0 2 now. And that's going to be a double play ball, but that drives in a run. We're okay with that. We take that. All right. It's going to be Okino now. Gaza straight back. Gobu's there. That's going to be it. A bit of a squandered chance. Bases loaded, no outs. But, we still got one, we got a good start, as we force a fly out to right, and it's going to be Gobu now. Got him with the outside slider for one. Sling that high curveball for two, and let's go with a low fastball here with that little rise. It's hoping to bait him with it go with high with it now and that's going to be a ground out to Papillon for two we're picking up where we left off so far Kuranaga takes strike one very very good curveball slider in but that's going to be a single way to get on that Kuranaga well done and it's going to be Todoroki now the left fielder that slider can be a bit of a gimme pitch if not thrown in the correct manner. Hung on to the fork ball just barely. Fastball pops straight back, still hanging on to the count. And that's skied to right. Yuzudori is there, and that's going to be three. Who mama. Who mama. Okay. Rokaku now DHing for us. And I decided late to swing at that. I don't know. 
what my decision making was there. But we'll take that liner up the middle. Strong single to start. That's where Kaifu takes their position on first. And it's going to be Toto. Rounder up the middle. But that's going to be an easy double play ball for the shortstop. And it comes to Ogane. Kind of want something high here. Instead, we skied it very high. Very straight up. Oh, okay. We're back now to the top of the third, and it's Sorimachi facing off against us. Bait with curveball? Yes. Hit that low riser. That's going to be a grounder to Okino. Easy out. One gone. And it's going to be Hino leading back off at the top of the order. Slow grounder to Papillon. Scoops it up and beats him to the bag with it. That's one. And now it's going to be Isekai. Sends it straight to pink. And that's going to be three. Oh, we are cruising today. Isidori now. Also a boost against left-handed pitchers. So... Contact zone at least looks very good today. Tenoji smacks it to short. Isn't going to beat that out. And it's going to be pink. Strong grounder towards first, but it's going to be foul. A little ahead of it. And pops up the two seamer. Shindo going to go get it himself. And that's three. Through three innings, we are still sitting on a one nothing game. That's going to be a pop-up right out the gate for Bando. One gone. It's going to be Shinonome back at it with that clinical ability. As it goes straight to Okino, the flip to Ikari. That's two. Throw a little gas in there now. That Red Deer kit really does look good. Is that stacked lettering? That's cool. A little RD stacked up on the left side. That's really nice. Alright. So that is three gone. We go to the bottom of the inning. It's going to be Papillon who walked the first time up. And a squibbed grounder back to the mound. Oh, man. Let's be a little clinical. I'm going to take a few pitches here. Now let's just get ourselves to a more ideal position. 1-1 one, one now for Kyushu. Can we get our first homer of the season today? We almost got it with Kyushu earlier. He had a good smack. It just wasn't enough. And skies it to center. Sorimachi is there. And that's going to be two. It's going to be Okino now. Also had some strong contact last game, though it was more of a smack on a line to the wall. But let's see if we can do something. Maybe get a little latch on here. Try to send something. Nope, we just pop it straight up to Shindo, and that's going to be three. That's going to be three, but that's okay. Head into the top of the fifth. Ikari still dealing wonderfully. Pink with the running throw. Wonderful, wonderful defensive play. And it's going to come to Furunaga now. You can notice he made a change at third base, and so far it's paid off. Furunaga playing really well thus far. As he pops it up to Okino at first, and that's going to be two. Comes now to Todoroki. Pops it up. Ikari is there, and that is the inning. Nice and quick. One, two, three. We set him down, and it's Rokaku's turn to try and get us some more hitting. Pop straight up. We're just popping up now. I don't know what's happened to our hitting. Gobu almost missed that. That would have been terrible for him. Toto pops it straight up, too. It's going to be Ogane now. And it seems as though Shindo wants to pitch a little higher up today. 
Now it's going to be three. Trying to mix up that look and throw me some high pitches instead of the low stuff. Whereas I'm looking at kind of keeping it all over the board. We get a quick ground out to first. That's going to be one gone. Pino. At the plate. And a quick single for Hino. We need to watch for that runner. I'm going to throw some gas in here just to keep him honest. And that's one strike. Two strike. Don't try to steal on me. Fork ball sends to left. Ogane there, and that's going to be two gone. And Hino stays at first, and it's going to come to Bando now, who has been, despite being a better hitter, has been struggling in this series thus far as we take an 0-2 count against him. Throw some gas. He swung at it to save his runner. Otherwise, would have been gunned out. It's popped up foul. Try the pick. Fourth ball. Forces him foul yet again. And the curveball got him way ahead of it with its strike three. Now it's going to take us to the bottom of the sixth, still holding on to a 1 0 lead. As Shinobu Mizudori steps to the plate, feeling in a good mood. And Red Deer, don't know what they're up to. Can that land? No, Mizudori can't squeak it. It's going to be Tenoji. Tenoji, does that squeak over? It does. A little chinker single to right for Tenoji. So, good hit now. Let's see, maybe we go for a steal. And we're in there to Noji now on second and a 2-0 count for pink, 2-1. Popped up to third, what a waste. And it's going to be Papillon now at the plate the chance to try and do something. Instead, he sends it. Oh, Bando missed the error, but oh, second baseman's there. Uh, Isekai makes the save despite the Bando error. If he hadn't been there, that's a sing or that's a, a run off of an error. Instead, we go top seven. Nanai at the plate. Still holding to our one nothing score line. That's going to be the 0-2. He was ready a little more for the curveball, but Okino's got it. And that's two gone for Gobu. Got to keep mixing those looks. And it's going to be a grounder to Akari. One, two, three inning yet again. And another strong outing from our pitchers as Kiyushu comes in to face Shindo. I'm hopeful for something here. Instead, I do that. That's great. It's going to be Okino now. Skies it to right. Nanai is under it. And that's going to be two. And it's going to be Rokaku now. One for two so far this game. The chopper to third. Furunaga's there. The throw just barely gets there in time and we head top eight now it's gonna be Furunaga who sits one for two so far this game grounds it foul to start Furunaga I feel like probably has been a bit of an upgrade for him at first so far this game or sorry a third um, I personally prefer my third baseman options between Toto and Yumashiro and whoever else because I've got a couple utility players Ikari with the pop-up it's going to be two gone. Ikari's starting to tire out. Hopefully it will not be an issue. But if it does come to it, we've got Papillon can come in to close it out. It's 
going to be Toto now in the gap to right field, and that's going to be a leadoff single for Toto. Nice and easy. Cool as you like, and it's coming to Ogane now. Use that high hit ability, and he drops it in to left field. And that's going to be bottom of our order getting hits now. We have two on, no out. And the Rednecks taking a second to collect themselves, figure out what they're doing here. I'm tempted to bunt with Mizudori to move the runners forward. Get them to second and third with one out, and that gives Tanoji and Pink both a shot at it. Um, there's the bunt. Laid it down. There we go. We push the runners. It's going to be Tanoji, who's two for three this game. Swings on a bad pitch. The ball thrown in the dirt doesn't matter. Beats Tanoji there. It's going to come down to Pink with a clutch G, but still a good enough hitter that he puts it in the hole, and we're going to send them both. And that's going to be two runs for the No Sox, giving us a 3 nothing gap now as we continue on in the bottom of the eighth. Papillon now, our big power hitter. Takes a bit of a hack at it. Probably not a great move there. 2-1 count. And that ball had a little something on it, but not enough. That's going to be three. Top nine now. Ikari still looking like he's going to be solid, so we're going to stick with him. We're going to let him carry on, and we're going to see what we can do. Got him to swing at the curve. That's an 0-2 count. Can we hit that low, rising fastball? Caught the bottom corner. Strike three. Even in the ninth inning, we're dealing Ks. And it's going to be Isekai now. So we got, I think we got a legitimate shot at another complete game shutout here. If we can stay on it. Okino got two. It's going to be Bando now. Struck out twice this game. And we're sitting pretty here. Fouled it off. Can we get him to chase me high? Sends it to right. Mizudori is there. That is ball game number two. Two wins in a row. Won five of our last six. To improve us to five and six. We are moving. We are moving and shaking. Just letting him know I'll get the stats again. Ikari, another shutout for us. Pink making some moves with that two-run uh, single in the eighth. Very, very helpful play. And that is going to push us on through to the next one. We are cruising today. We are feeling it. Get our pictures. Get my stats first. Tanoji and Pink both really kicked us off that game. Everybody else, you know, had zero to one hit. But Tanoji and Pink both doubling up on it, doing wonders for us. Ikari, three Ks, nothing crazy, but he pitched a solid game, 64 pitches. And now our, our most dangerous pitcher, I would say, is available. Get his, and did not employ any pinch hitters. Shindo went the full game for him. All right, let me get these uploaded. And fig we'll figure out who's playing home team for game three. Thank you, Penguin GG. Yeah. Uh, Let's get this posted. I was just asking him about who wants to be home. He's going to be home for game three.
So here we go now. Here we go. I had a mention in... Yeah, conceded the DM. Okay. So it looks likely that we'll throw Aoba unless he's in a really bad mood for game three. Uh, being our kind of specialist here. Um, our other options, Inuki's an option, Kino, Alex, Hakuto is a great option. Um, go ahead and get signed into the lobby. Grab our squad and let's get to it. Oh, game three. Big, 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 big time. If we can sweep here, puts us in third. Going from last to third in our division would be a wonderful stretch of games for us. And Ayoba's not in a great mood. Inuki is in a strong mood. Let's go with it. Let's go with it, right? Why not? Uh, in terms of mood here, let's go ahead and get Papillon set up at second base. Arakata, Ogane, Hoshizora all looking good. Pretty meh down the line, so we're going to stick with our original lineup for the most part. Uh, we're going to let Yumashiro back in the lineup, Arakata back in the lineup, Hoshizora will come back from game one. And off we go to the races. This is going to be... This is going to be a good one. Say, I don't even know what that... What that emoji is supposed to be. I don't even know what that is. You call me a jabbermouth? <laughs> Why, am I talking too much? Rednecks are almost ready now. Yep, here we go. It's going to be game three of our three-game series. We're 2-0 this series, five wins in our last six. We're moving the right way. And Alvin Lockhart, ooh, one of the OGs from MLB Power Pros 2007. One of the guys that actually is from the American games. Ooh. That's going to be fun. I've not really played against Alvin. Most people don't use him. He, for, for his cost, he's generally considered kind of meh. His pitches don't necessarily move a ton. But that knuckleball is going to be interesting. It's an original knuckle. Or forkball, sorry. It's, it, they literally, in the American games, it's called a mirage knuckler. And that's going to be flying to right. That's going to be three gone. We've got Yamato Inuki starting things off for us. We may dip into our reliever pool here because Inuki's only got a C stamina. Um, I don't know if that'll go a full game for us this time around, depending on how much he's biting on stuff. That's sent. Foul. Now, this changeup is unique, and you can see why. It moves so painfully slow that it doesn't, like, it doesn't break. It's just very, very off-putting compared to the usual uh, pitch speed. And that's going to be a single for Bando, finally breaking off of his little uh, slump so far. Yumashiro can't get to that one. Too. Throw that high heat. Got him. He was looking for that change up. But you got to keep the changes. Uh, you got to keep mixing it up on him. So we gave up a hit. I am just jumping at pitches though. I, I think I'm so used to playing Alvin Lockhart in uh, in the American ones that I'm just like jumping everything he throws, which is not great. Arakata, not enough on that, and that's going to be two gone. It's going to come to Okino now. 
It's a little slurve, doesn't really move much. Cutter doesn't move much. The knuckler is the pitch to watch for. Burkino smacks it up the middle, and that's going to be a single with two gone. It's going to come down to Yumashiro, who's been one of our best players this season. He sat out the first two because, you know, not really feeling at their best, and that's okay. That's going to be three right there, and we move on to the bottom of the second, the nigh at the plate. Fouls off a quick one. Sneak that sinker in. Now that's going to be a single. See, Inuki's a good pitcher, but he's not that dynamic. Except for that changeup. And so it makes me a little nervous. Yeah, see, there we go. Giving up hits. And now we've got two on, no outs against us. Inuki might not have been the choice for this game. Um, top relief option, probably Hakuto if he's in the mood. I'm just hoping it doesn't come to that that fast. Kurunaga, strike two. A K or a pop-up here would be wonderful. Going to go back high with some more heat. Got him, strike three. That's one gone. Yabemon starting at third today. If I can start putting the ball down the third baseline, that would be potentially very nice. Yabemon pops it up. It's going to be two gone. Don't try to sneak home on me. It's going to come to Soramachi now. Takes two fastballs. I gotta keep trying to surprise with those looks. And Papillon over the shoulder catch. That's gonna be three. I'm sure he's fuming over that one. Gets two in scoring position. No outs. Can't score on it. Ogane to left center. Diving catch. Sorimachi. Wow, I thought that was gonna fall. Alright, well it's going to be Hoshi Zora now. Grounds it to Shinonome, and that's going to be two. It's going to come now to Tenoji. Let's try and latch on to something here. I want to try and belt one. Take the ball on the cutter. And Tenoji smacks it to left center. Soramachi's there, that's going to be three. Just not getting enough on it. But no matter, we're going now to Hino to lead off the bottom of the inning. Yumashiro snags, makes the throw just in time. And Isekai now. Fooled again by the changeup. I think that's going to be our main play this game, is just angling between the fastball and the changeup. That's really Inuki's specialty here. Is working between those two. The other pitches, they move okay. They aren't going to be the focus. Bando sends it to right. Hoshizora's there. That's three. We move on to the top of the fourth. Still 0-0. We need to get some hits against Alvin Lockhart. We just, we gotta take him on. It's fair down the first baseline. Bando gets it, and that's going to be one gone. I just need to get something started. I think that's the big thing. I gotta get something started. That fork ball is just causing chaos for me. Papillon pops it up. That's gonna be two gone. That's gonna be Kyushu now. Smacked up the middle. Shinonome can't get to it, and that's gonna be a single now for Kyushu. But I can't be spotting hits together. I gotta, I gotta like chain them. Arakata flies it to center. Soramachi's there, that's three. I'm swinging way too much this game. Take strike one against Shinonome. Bring some heat. We'll hit him with the changeup again. Because I've been throwing a lot of late uh, fastballs. Strike three, Inuki putting it by him. It's gonna be Nanai. Jumps an early fastball. Ogane there, and that's going to be two gone. 
and it comes down to Gobu who hit a strong double last time to put them in a wonderful position. And he gets another single to right. Not really much we can do in that position. It's Furunaga gets on the changeup, grounds it to short, and that's going to be the inning. And we head now to the top of the fifth, Okino. One of our guys who have actually gotten a hit this game. Can he get another? Smacked at the middle, same play. Now it's going to be two singles now for Okino, who has taken on this game a little bit stronger. And that's a pass ball. Runner moves to second. Free bag. We take it. Yumashiro pops it to center. It's going to be one out. Soramachi covering a lot of territory out there. Ogane. Oh, the mistake pitch. I didn't recognize it quick enough to do much with it. If I had, I could have switched to power real fast and latched. But instead, Ogane is going to send it to center. Yumashiro breaking for home. Oh, sorry, Okino. And that's going to give the No Sox a, uh, a lead midway through this game. And now Hoshizora. Grounder. That's one. That's two. Double play. And we lose the rest of the inning. But we got a start. That's the important thing. Strike two against Yavemon. Give that high heat. Got him looking on the edge of the zone. Inuki dealing out here. It's going to be a pop up to Kiyushu for the next hitter, Soramachi. And it's going to come back to the top of the order now for Hino. Ball got left way fat. But Ogane is there, anyways. And that's going to be three gone. That was unlucky for him. I got very fortunate there. Tanoji to center. One gone. Shinonome gets there. Poor pitch to swing at. It was way up and in. Pink skies it to left. Gobu is... Why is Gobu playing left? Gobu should not be playing left field. Not in the slightest. Held up. I. You guys might have heard it. I actually hit the button, but I hit it late. And I barely tapped it. Papillon, can we get something here? We got a pop up to second, that's what we get. Go ahead and send him to. That's going to end the inning. We head now to the bottom of the sixth. Inuki looking good, facing up against a good looking Isekai. That's going to pop up to Okino at first, and that's the out. Bando now looking to continue on his momentum from actually getting on base this game. And he takes a sinker. And Papillon there. Two gone. I, the game didn't even let me control Papillon. He just got to the right place. And that high fastball almost didn't work. Ogane got there. Three gone. As we head into the seventh with Kyushu. And it's gone. Mistake pitch down the middle. Kyushu latches. And that is our first homer of the season. Ooh, that felt nice. That felt nice. And immediately pulls Lockhart. It's going to be Arima now. As Arakata skies one. Soramachi is there. That's one gone. Okino now. Two for two this game. Can we keep the momentum? Build something big. That's going to be two strikes. Arima with that stinking slow sweeping curve. That's going to be Yumashiro now. In the gap. No, Bando. Bando. Wonderful diving play at first. That's going to be it. But Kyushu doing some damage. Making it work with that home run. 
Yumashiro, wonderful play at third, first out of the inning. And now it's Gobu, two for two this game. That's probably part of why he's playing left field. And I understand why you don't put uh, Hino out there because he can't field with the lick. Even if Gobu's out of position, he can field better than that. That's going to be two gone, and now it's Furunaga to face Inuki. Inuki just dealing up constantly. And that's the Papillon. It drops fair. Get the ground out. We're going. And now we go top eight. Ogane at the plate. Takes the first strike. And then rips the second one into center. Smooth single. And now it's going to be Hoshi Zora. Can we build on that leadoff single? And a smooth, smooth steal. So Shizora lofts it into center. Sorimachi there for it, though. One gone. And now it's Tanoji. Absolute hammer to center. Straight at Sorimachi. If it had been for power, I think that might have been gone. Instead, Pink pops it up, Arima is there, and that's three. I feel like the thing with Arima is he's going to be really easy to steal on, because he pitches so slow. As Yabemon grounds out to Okino for one gone, it's going to be Sorimachi now. I haven't thrown that change up as much recently. Trying to just keep him on his toes. And the slider, Ogane is there. Way to cover some turf, Ogane. And Inuki is looking more and more likely to pitch a complete game shutout again. Three straight complete game shutouts for the No Sox would be something astounding. That would be absolutely wonderful if we could pull it off. And it's going to be Arima staying on the mound to face Papillon. Can Papillon make him pay? We're going to have to find out. No. no, it pops it straight back. One gone. Kiyushu, our home run hitter, two for three this game. Grounds it to short, and that's going to be two. I'm half tempted to throw Papillon in just to change up the look. But if Anuki's dealing, I don't necessarily want to pull him. I just don't want to blow the game. Stop playing games with me, Rednecks. Come on. All right. Isekai now at the dish. Inuki sends the first pitch to Yumashiro. One gone. It's going to be Bando now. Throw some heat. He wasn't ready for the heat. Give that sinker a little wide. And Okino is there. That's two gone. And it all comes down now to Shinonome. Get that high changeup rolling. Inuki potentially two pitches away. Nope, nope. It's going to be at least one two-bagger. We got a man on second with two gone. Strike two. Inuki with risk, wonderful ability. And the high changeup fakes out Nanai. That is ball game. We have swept the Red Deer Rednecks. Oh, man. Look at that go. Ooh, good game. Yamato Inuki is no walk shutout. And Kiyushu with our first homer of the season. Way to go. Complete game shutouts across the board. And that's going to be it, yeah. Wow, way to start the day. Go ahead and get my stats pulled up. Nobody really stood out hugely on the hitting side. Actually, we only had three people get hits, but they each had two hits. And so we were able to pull people in from it. 
Uh, Kyushu with the solo jack. Okino got himself on base. And Ogane was able to drive him in. That was it. That was it for the whole game. Uh, Pitching-wise, Inuki 6Ks. Let's go. Wonderful, wonderful showing. Uh, so that comes out to... 16 strikeouts across three games, not bad. A little over five a game. And no other hitters for him. Let's go ahead and get those. And he had a few different people get hits, he just could not string them together. Lockhart takes the loss. That mistake pitch cost him his, uh, his comfort cushion. And Lockhart is going to be going into that one a little rough. So yeah, there we go. That is it. Yeah, we are 6-6 six and six now. We have moved to third in the Global League. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a solid day. It's been solid. Looking forward to next week's matchup. Uh, who are we playing? I'm trying to pull that up real fast. I do not even remember who I am playing next week. Uh, I cannot... Hold on, i got to switch monitors. Because uh, my file explorer is on a different monitor. A uh, different monitor input. Let's see. We've got... Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Or actually, hold on. Let's pull up the slideshow real fast. No, it doesn't want me to do it. Okay, uh, let me find this real fast and we'll get going and call this a day. Um, look at our season schedule on PowerPoint real fast. So we are facing, oh shoot, midseason mayhem. We've got Dishnet 34 and the Green Bay Blizzard. Now, he put it too obsessed in that last series. He lost one game out of the three, but he was playing really, really well. Um, the rest of our schedule I'm feeling okay about. So we get past Dish, and then we've got uh, the Chicago Curve, who are sitting at... Um, hold on, let me see if I can pull up the schedule for you guys. Yeah, here we go. Skimming on ahead. Skimming on ahead. All right. So we've got Chicago Curve Week 6. I feel comfortable taking them. Let me go ahead. I'll throw my camera on and make it a little bigger. All right. There we go. So, yeah. So Week 6, after we play Dish, is the Chicago Curve. They're sitting last in the uh, World League. We've got the North Shore Hane with Sumikaku, who is a strong opponent, but has also not been playing that well yet. Uh, but I'd also have to look at his schedule because he's probably had some strong opponents, uh, particularly like this week's series is against Greg the Egg. Then we've got the Purple Hurricanes with Slimefall, Week 7, who have been playing all right. The Champion Rings with Bren, Week... Or, sorry, not Week 7, Week 8 is the Purple Hurricanes and Slimefall. And then Week 9, the Champion Rings and Bren, that brings us to mid-June. And that is going to be tough. So we've got we got a couple tough ones, a couple that I feel a little more confident on. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, we've had a strong one. We've had a strong strong day. Three game sweep. That's six wins in the last seven. Um, yeah, it's feeling good. Over our last three series, we started out the season 0-3 and, and have gone 6-3 and three since, which is awesome. So, feeling good. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. We'll see if it comes out in videos or if I do another stream. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.